हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न न्यूमेरिकल टेक्निक कॉल्ड एज यूलर्स मेथड टू सॉल्व फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस इनिशियल वैल्यू प्रॉब्लम सो लेट अस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज दिस इनिशियल वैल्यू प्रॉब्लम इज इन इनिशियल वैल्यू प्रॉब्लम वी विल बी आस्क टू सॉल्व डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ द टाइप dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y at x is equal to xn with initial condition y of x not is equal to y not. Let us understand this initial value problem. We assume solution to this differential equation dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y b y is equal to f of x. Then initial condition y of x not is equal to y not means at x is equal to x naught, value of this solution is y is equal to y naught. Then, solving this differential equation dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y at x is equal to xn means finding value of the solution y is equal to f of x at point x is equal to xn. Let us understand this concept with the help of geometry. We assume solution to the differential equation dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y b y is equal to f of x. Then the initial condition y of x naught is equal to y naught means some initial point on this solution. So at point x is equal to x naught we get y is equal to y naught on this solution curve. So this is your initial condition. Then solving this differential equation dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y at x is equal to xn means finding point on the solution curve y is equal to f of x at x is equal to xn. We say that point is yn. To do so, we first divide this interval into several steps. Those steps will be equivalent length. We call this length as h. Then we find the value of this curve at x1. Then we calculate it at x2 and so on. And finally, we calculate value of this y is equal to f of x at x is equal to xn. So after several iterations, we will reach at point xn and we will calculate value of this solution curve at x is equal to xn. Now let us see Euler's method to solve this initial value problem. Note that in this video, I am explaining you the steps involved in Euler's method to solve initial value problem. I am not going to explain how these steps came into the picture. So let us see the steps involved in Euler's method. Consider a differential equation dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y with some initial condition x is equal to x naught and y is equal to y naught. Here problem is to find value of the solution y of the given differential equation at point x is equal to xn. Euler suggests that we should find the value of that solution at point x is equal to x1 first. And to do so, he gave the formula for y1 as y naught plus h into f of x naught y naught. Here h is the step size of the intervals. Now we calculate value of the solution at x is equal to x2. Then y2 will be given by y1 plus h into f of x1 y1. Look at the difference between formulas of y1 and y2. Here we had y0 for y1 and now we have y1 for y2. In y1, we had calculated value of f at x0, y0 and for y2, we are calculating value of f at x1, y1. Similarly, we calculate value of solution at point x is equal to x3. It will be given by y3 is equal to y2 plus h into f of x2, y2. We continue this process of calculating value of the solution at various x points until we reach to x is equal to xn. So at x is equal to xn, 
value of y will be given as y n is equal to y n minus 1 plus h into f of x n minus 1 comma y n minus 1. I hope you understood steps involved in Euler's method to solve this initial value problem. Now let us see some real examples. Here problem is to use Euler's method to find the approximate value of y at x is equal to x1 in 5 steps taking h is equal to 0 0.2 given that differential equation is dy by dx is equal to x plus y and initial condition is y of 0 is equal to 1. We first of all note down this given data. Here f of x comma y is x plus y. Step size given is 0 0.2. Initial conditions are x0 is 0, y0 is 1. Now by Euler's method, at x is equal to x1, y1 is given as y0 plus h into f of x0 y0. Since x0 is 0, then x1 will be x0 plus h, that is 0 0.2. Then y1 will be given as y0 that is 1 plus h that is 0.2 into f of 0 comma 1. You can calculate f of 0 comma 1 by substituting x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 in this definition of f. So after simplifying we get y1 as 1.2. So at x1 is equal to 0 0.2 we get y1 as 1.2. Now we calculate value of y at x2. According to Euler, y2 is given by y1 plus h into f of x1 y1. We already had calculated y1. x2 is x1 plus h. x1 is 0.2, so 0.2 plus h that is 0.4 is your x2. Then y2 can be given as y1 that is 1.2 plus h that is 0.2 into f of x1 y1 that is f of 0 0.2 comma 1.2. We substitute x is equal to 0 0.2 and y is equal to 1.2 in the definition of f. So we get f of 0 0.2 comma 1.2 as 0 0.2 plus 1.2 that is 1.4 into 0 0.2 is 0 0.28 plus 1.2 is 1.48. So this is value of y at 0 0.4. Now we go for x3. According to Euler's method, y3 at x3 is given by y2 plus h into f of x2 y2. We substitute for y2 h x2 y2 here. And after solving, we see 1.856. So at x3 is equal to 0.6, we get y3 as 1.856. Now let us go for y4 at x4. x4 will be 0 0.8. x4 is obtained by calculating x3 plus h. x3 was 0 0.6. So x4 is 0 0.6 plus 2 that is 0 0.8. y4 by Euler's method is given by y3 plus h into f of x3 y3. Substituting for these values, we get y4 as this. Then simplifying this using calculator, we get y4 as 2.3472. So this is the value of the solution at x4 is equal to 0.8. Now we finally calculate value of solution at x5. x5 is x4 plus h. x4 is 0.8. So 0.8 plus h is 1. So we get our required result at x5. According to Euler's method, y5 is given as y4 plus h into x4 y4. Substituting for y4, x4 and h, we get y5 as 2.97664. So this is the required solution of the differential equation dy by dx is equal to x plus y with this initial condition. I hope you understood every step of this solution. Now let me show you alternate way of writing the same solution. We are going to put all the values that we have calculated so far in a tabular format so that it is easier to look in this way.
so the column headings of this table will be n xn yn and yn plus 1 this is yn plus 1 formula by euler's method it is yn plus h into f of xn yn these are the values of n then at n is equal to 0 x0 that is initial value of x is 0 so we put 0 here then we calculate x1 x1 is x0 plus h so after adding 0 0.2 in the previous value of x we get x1 similarly x2 x3 x4 and x5 now let us calculate y0 y0 is given in the question y0 is the initial value of y it is 1 here so we put 1 here now we put x0 y0 and value of h in this formula to get y1 so y1 here can be calculated and written as 1.2 here we have to write y1 value which we have calculated over here so we put 1.2 here now we put y1 here h value here x1 and y1 here and we calculated using calculator to get value of y2 so when i put 1 here for n we get y2 and y2 is 1.48 here we have to write y2 it is 1.48 so this value goes over here now substituting values for y2 x2 and h we get y3 value y3 is 1.856 doing remaining calculations we get y4 value and y5 value over here so y5 that is 2.97664 is the required solution of the given differential equation i hope you understood this way of writing the solution let us solve one more example here we are asked to use Euler's method to find the approximate value of y at x is equal to 0.1 taking h is equal to 0 0.02 given differential equation is dy by dx is equal to x minus y square with initial condition y of 0 is equal to 1. So first of all we will note down the given data here f of x comma y is x minus y square step size is 0 0.02 initial value of x is 0 and initial value of y is 1. Now we set up a table whose column headings are n, xn, yn and yn plus 1. These are n values. Now we write what is x0 is. x0 is 0 so we put 0 here. x1 can be calculated by adding h in x0. h is 0 0.02. So 0 0.02 plus 0 is 0 0.02. So this is our x1. Add h in this value to get x2. It will be 0 0.04. Similarly, we calculate x3, x4 and x5. Now we write y0 here. y0 is 1. So we put 1 in this column. Then we calculate y1. y1 is given by y0 plus h into f of x0 y0 x0 y0 is here h is here so by substituting values of h x0 and y0 we get y1 as 0 0.98 here we have to write y1 so we write this value over here so this is x1 y1 here is our h so by substituting these three values over here we get our y2 as 0.9612 take this y2 and write over here now putting x3 y3 and value of h in this formula we get y3 as 0.9435 similarly y4 as 0.9269 and y5 as 0.9113 so this is the required solution of the given differential equation dy by dx is equal to x minus y square at point x is equal to 0 0.1. I hope you understood the solution. Now as usual I have two DIY questions for you. Please try to solve these questions and write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these questions or not.
final solutions of these questions are given below so that you can tally your answers. Please circulate this video among your friends so they can also have the benefit of this. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.